Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. Wow. Ahead of his time. We didn't do it on our own. We did right. it in, in, uh, in, uh, in, clearly in, 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 in step with uh, right. Canada. Uh, 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 hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van. I'm here with my man, Lou Valentino. And we are about to check out another video about this whole craziness that's going on, man. Things been shot down all over the planet. Nah, man. Listen, but we listen, about... wait, before we watch this video, I want to say, I want to say, shout out to Mark Dice because he's been on this since for a long time, talking about Project Blue Beam, talking about a bunch of things that are coming into fruition today. Shout out to Mark Dice. So he he has been on this for a minute. Okay, all right. So, uh, man, see, I hate being the last one on. Well, it's it's better to be last than not not ever. You know what I mean? So we here. Let's check it out. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments, all right? Over the weekend, the U.S. military shot down several supposed UFOs. So everyone is wondering what the heck is going on, if China is getting ready to invade or attack, or if it's aliens. And, you know, if it was an alien attack, probably would be the only thing that would stop liberals from destroying society, and it <laughs> sure would be a lot more exciting. But <laughs> I have a feeling that there's... Hey, he says it'd be the only thing to stop liberals. <laughs> <laughs> All them aliens that's coming out, they're all going to be liberal. They're all going to vote liberal. You know they are. You know they are. They, <laughs> they're already creating these joints in labs, man. I saw a lab filled with um, new fake babies, man. It's crazy. Yeah, a lab filled with new Democratic voters. <laughs> crazy, bro. Something else going on here, and so do a lot of other There we people. go. Project Blue. Trending, Blue. baby. On Twitter last night. If you're not familiar with that, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. Here's National Security Director John Kirby starting the scare. So I can confirm that the Department of Defense was tracking a high altitude object over Alaska airspace in the last 24 hours. Out, uh, the, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Wow. We better check in with CNN to find out the real story. <laughs> interesting this is kind of unusual that these pilots saw different things and that is sort of i guess adding to the mystery of all this yeah not even the pilots apparently were really able to identify what they saw and just to take you back for a sec on thursday the uh the u.s defense officials sent f-35 fighter jets up to try to figure out what this object was that was flying around near alaska those pilots we have learned have given very conflicting accounts of what they actually experienced with some pilots what you have learned, you mean what the Operation Mockingbird assets have told you. And then, like a mockingbird, which is why the program is named that, you are repeating exactly what you have been told. Hopefully we didn't shoot down anything that identifies as a human being. <laughs> Joe, you can't misgender an alien, man. I can't misgender an alien. <laughs> <laughs> saying that the, the object interfered with the plane's sensors, other sure pilots did. saying that they didn't really experience that, other pilots saying that when they looked at the object, they could identify no identifiable uh, identifiable propulsion system, and they did not know how it was actually staying in the air. <laughs> uh, it's filled with helium. It's a gigantic helium balloon, so it doesn't have a propulsion system, of course. Now, if you're not familiar with Project Blue Beam, oh, you're going to love this. Here is New York Times economist Paul Krugman openly discussing essentially what the elitists planned or discussed uh, as a way to, well, let's just say distract the general public and justify massive government expansion and spending. If, if, we, if we discovered that uh, you know, space aliens were planning to attack and we needed a, a massive buildup to counter the, the space alien threat um, and really inflation and budget deficits took secondary uh, place to that. Um, this slump would be over in 18 months. And then if we discovered, whoops, we made a mistake. There aren't actually any space aliens. So we need aliens. Orson Welles be a better... is what you're saying. No, that's a, that's a, there was a Twilight Zone episode like this in which uh, scientists fake a, uh, an alien threat in order to achieve world peace. Well, this time we don't need it. We need it in order to get some fiscal stimulus. Or to just wow. more hyper. Wow. So basically, in order to up their 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 pace for whatever it is they're trying to do, this is it. This is the plan. Yo, mm -hmm. aliens are coming. Yo, aliens being shot out the sky. Uh, we're getting invaded. Okay, this is how you bring that one world order. I don't know how to explain it, but this is it. Like it sounds silly. Alien invasion in 2023, but then it does it really sound silly, or does it sound like something that you know could definitely 
be in the works. So this sounds like something that can definitely happen. And um, honestly, I'm I'm seeing Independence Day. I just don't know who the hero going to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's but it's it's only thing we can do is is make light of it. Be honest with you, because people are keeping the real information so tight, close to their jacket, not really telling us what's going on. And then the people that that represent the federal government with the actual information, they're they're just going to feed us BS until it's too late for us to do anything about it. I would, That's what yeah. I honestly and truly believe, bro. I think that they're going to continue to. Feed I think us they're BS. all a part. I think, in my opinion, they're all a part of it. They're all a part of. They the are. Plan. They're all a part of whatever strategy or whatever it is that they're about to do or try to do in order to bring the world together. I like that. In order to bring the world to quote unquote, I got you on that one. Yeah. Inflation and distract from the utter failure of an administration that old Joe is in charge of. And by the way, Paul Krugman didn't just come up with this idea off the top of his head. He put a lot of thought into it. I, I actually have a, a serious proposal, which is that we have to get a bunch of scientists to tell us that we're facing a threatened alien invasion. And in order to be prepared for that alien invasion, we have to do things like build high-speed rail and, and, and uh, you know, and, and... You know, pass the Green New Deal, right? No, this is not his original idea. In the 1960s, a book was published called The Report from Iron Mountain, claiming to be yep. a secretly leaked document from an elite think tank that outlined how world peace would be bad for the economy. And if the military industrial complex slowed down too much, if the world got too peaceful, that they would have to jumpstart it again through false flags. And they also proposed faking an alien threat. Later, the author claimed that it was just satire and it was meant to raise awareness about the military industrial complex and their lust for war and the money that it makes. But others believe that him claiming that it was just satire was just a cover-up because they believe that it was real. Here is Ronald Reagan, President Reagan at the United Nations, basically saying the same thing. Antagonisms of the moment. We often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. Wow. Ahead of his time. The crazy part about it is that it's, it's always been in our face. What can they plan up to distract us and scare us into passing everything that they want? Right? What, what can scare humans to the point where they can actually gain all government and all control? It's, it's been in our face the whole time. They've been talking about this. You got Reagan talking about this. What? Yeah, like, you, oh, you want to pass this new law? You want to you wanna bring one world currency? You want to you want to do this? You want to do that? Okay, cool. I got it. Alien invasion would then give us all the trust from the people and and they'll give up all their rights because they think they're doing it for this alien. It's crazy. I think they should have done this back in the 80s when we were just a little bit more stupid. Okay, not stupid, but we, when, <laughs> we, didn't, when we didn't have the technology. I don't know, man. I, I wasn't alive back then. I can't even tell you. <laughs> oh, man. God dang on young buck. <laughs> you know, they, they should have done this back then, though, before we had the technology and before I will say this, before people started paying the attention that they're paying right now, we it's it's all out there like it's nothing trending on Twitter. Not. Project Blue Beam. That's a big, big that's a big deal for them. Probably is they're like, oh, oh, we're like exposed. But then they again, are. it's they're like really exposed. But does it matter, though? That's my question today. Would it matter? They're going to do it anyways. in our faces knowing that we know. It feels that way. It feels like we literally can't even do anything about it. And that's like you're in an abusive relationship and they just keep bringing new pieces over the house and just look at you like, you better not say nothing. Shut up. I smacked the yep. shut up. <laughs> it like, was like that. <laughs> I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? No, those are just weather balloons, sir. <laughs> and back in the late 90s, the Washington Post published this article where they admitted that during the first Gulf War over in Iraq, 
the CIA planned or discussed a plan where they would project an image of God into the sky and then using, uh, I think, elf waves or some sort of radio frequency hearing effect, which I've discussed previously in an in-depth report, that they would make the Iraqi people think that God was actually talking to them. And they wanted to use this to encourage them to overthrow Saddam Hussein, okay? Jeez. And that was, <laughs> what, 30-something years ago? <sighs> and so a lot of people, that's what they're talking about. There's, there's videos like this going viral yep. on, <laughs> on Twitter. Recently, those are going viral. Really? Those are going viral, yeah. They're going to look, bro. There's a bunch of steps of Project Blue Beam that will basically bring on what, what we know as to be the Antichrist, a rapture. Um, so many things that will deceive people to think that Jesus has come back. Like, I'm telling you, it's about, it's about to get real. And it seems that this could be happening in our lifetime. They got so much technology now that they're going to use for that. The, the, the CGI, uh, the AIs, and just so, so many things, bro. So many things already happen happening that have to do with project blue beam in my opinion i'm gonna look more into this man because this is this this is crazy Wild. i don't think i don't think people are dumb I, I i don't think people are dumb enough to believe it but i think people are dumb enough to believe it if they still like when you Bro, you know, okay think about it, how long people have been waiting for jesus to come back their first taste at jesus even if it's like a fake made you know deep state manipulated jesus that that's not him that's that actual antichrist, but he's also like performing miracles and doing all these things to save the world. All these people who are great grandmothers, great grandparents, grandfathers, mothers, whoever's been waiting for Jesus for so long, they're going to be like, he's here. They're going to fall for it. It's going to be too easy. Yeah, they will fall. This is going to be some people to fall for. There's going to be some people. Not, not as many. I think more people will, will prefer if Tupac came back then. <laughs> But no, then the antichrist yeah, for yeah. Sure. <laughs> i mean that's that's just what i think man but i i could be i could be wrong you know trying to either fool people that this is project blue meme they're already doing it or showing kind of what that would actually entail and me always being at least a decade ahead of the brand name yep. conservative and years ago he posted this about certain issues that they're always afraid to talk about Here's a video that I posted on YouTube a decade ago, back in 2013, on Project Bluebeam. Did you know that the government has a plan to stage or fake an alien invasion or even the return of Jesus or the appearance of God wow. here on planet Earth? Not only do they have the plan, but they've actually considered putting it into use on several occasions. The Washington Post actually published... Okay, so you get the point. You can go and find that video if you want to watch it. Much, hey, shout out to Mark Dice for being ahead of the game, man. That's crazy. He's been in there for a minute. He's been ahead of the game, man. See, that's the thing. See, one that's something that you and I, I, I hope people will remind me of this more often, but we don't have to rush this thing, bro. Like, as long as we continue Max. to build brick by brick, we're going to be fine, bro. That's we're gonna fact, be fine. bro. Bro, been on this for... 10 plus years, man. 10 plus. He got what? 1. what? 1.85? Bro, no need to rush greatness, man. People going to come through. They're going to follow regardless. Yeah, this that's dope, man. That made me feel good, right? That that was the one part. <laughs> that was the one part of this entire video that made me feel good as an American. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to pull this off. That's a positive stuff. They're going to have to hire a new exactly. press secretary because Kareem Jean-Pierre, just isn't going to be able to sell this to the American people. She be sounding like Van Jones when she talk, bro. She be stuttering her ass off. I don't know, but I'm going to try to make it up as we go. I'm da, 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 da. Listen to how she stuttered when she's saying this about here. And she's going to say something about the no ride. You know something about the no ride? No rad or something. Nah. It's like a an initiative that have to do with things flying above. In the, if you guys know what I'm talking about, feel free to let us know in the comments, man. Why is why is the American military shooting something? out of the sky over Canada. Because it's part of a uh, NORAD. There is a, the NORAD is part of like a it, part of a, it, it's a, it's a, what you call a coalition. A so nations. a pact, okay. exactly. And so that's why we were able to do that. Again, it, we didn't do it on our own. We did right. it in, in, uh, in, uh, it clearly in, 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 in step with us. Uh, <laughs> she, she sound like a damn, she sound like. Yo, some, uh, she's out of line. 
Yeah, bro. Like she be trying though. Like bless her heart for anchor. I mean, he's looking at her like I, I'm trying to help you out, but you sound dumb. Yeah, I just threw you a softball, but you just come on. We you don't sound right right now. You you don't sound very prepared, my my lady. But Simon, I ain't gonna mess with you, girl. Thing out of the sky over Canada because it's part of a NORAD. There is a, the NORAD is part of like a it, part of a it, it's a it's a what you call a coalition, a consortium, a consortium. A, a pact so of nations. a pact okay. exactly, and so that's why we were able to do that again. It, we didn't do it on our own. We did right. it in in uh, in uh, clearly in in in. in, in <laughs> Yo, that guy's face is hilarious. He's yo, he's shocked. He's like, I can't believe you. You hey, you can't be with me right now, bro. <laughs> yo, she uh he is looking at her, bro. Skip 10 seconds. Just ten, go back 10 seconds of the keyboard real quick. He, he was he was trying though, bro. He was trying. Look at man. this guy's face, bro. It is hilarious how he's trying to hang on for dear life without just popping off. Uh, he's up, a pact exactly, <laughs> and so that's why we were able to do that again. It, we didn't do it on our own. We did right. it in in uh, in uh, it clearly oh, in, 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 in step with uh, right. Canada. Uh, 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 we did it. In <laughs> he looked like Ricky Smiley. That's what he looked like. Oh my God! <laughs> like you might say, leave me alone. My name Lil Dow. Yeah, man. Yo, yeah, he let her, man. He's speechless. He's like, wow. This, I never see somebody stutter so damn much. Wild. He, but 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 it's, it gets worse because what she says next is crazy. Okay. All right. It gets worse. I can't. I didn't believe it would. Clearly, in 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 in, in step with uh, right. Canada. Canada. Uh, 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 we did it. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> she said Canada, bro. Own. We did right. it in in uh, in uh, clearly in 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 in, in step with <laughs> Canada. Uh, 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 we did it in step with Canada. <laughs> wow! Subscribe to my channel if you're new here because you won't find. Oh my it. god, bro! She stuttered, and then the last thing she said was just "this is Canada." <laughs> Canada. <laughs> oh my god! But well, that Listen. was that was funny. That was a dark video, but that 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 ended funny. That was good. That was beautiful. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about this one in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van and I'm here with my guy, Lou Valentino. And we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Peace. Out.